Hello there, it's me Rain and welcome to my creative world. For today's video, I will be setting up my 2023 January spread. I finally decided about the themes I'm going to make this year and it's still aligned with anime. I am really excited for this so without further ado, let's get started. For the month of January, I decided to go with the anime movie Hotorubi no Moriya or in English, Into the Forest of Fireflies Light. For those who already watched this, yes, I know it's not a happy theme to start a year but I choose this because I realized the deep meaning behind the story is kinda similar to what I feel this coming 2023. And for the cover page, I just drew the mask that Jin is wearing along with some cute cloud spirals. I also wrote a simple January using my tombow for the Nesuke to finish the spread. I am also using my tombow dual brush pens numbers 533 and 761 to add colors to the spread. Anyway, all the supplies I am using are in the description below so feel free to check them out. Just adding some washi tapes on the corner so it doesn't look empty. Does the washi tape works? It's cute, right? I also want to draw Jean kissing Hotaru while wearing his mask on the other side, which is my coat page. I'm sorry if my drawings are not the best, it's been a long time since I drew an anime character. But believe me, I really put extra effort to make them look exactly like Jean and Hutori from the anime, so I hope you like it. The quote that I choose is also from the movie. It says, Time might separate us someday, but even still, until then, let's stay together. I have nothing to say about this quote. It hurts so much even to think you have to leave something or someone that made you feel the happiest. But I guess that's life until you find what's best for you. And it's done. Let's move forward to my January calendar spread. I got the inspiration for this spread from my friend Xiao of Journeying Bullets. She made this kind of setup, I think it's year 2020, November, and I thought it is pretty cool to recreate it. Just a brief summary about this anime. When Hotaru was just a kid, she was lost and found herself in a spirit forest where she met Jin. He lives in there and it is said that the spirit took care of him and that's why he can't be touched by a human anymore for he will disappear. And yeah, this is really a sad movie. But on the other hand, I also find it inspiring. Hotaru has this habit of waiting for summer so she can meet Jin again. Suddenly, the day comes when she is no longer able to meet with him. It means for me that in life, when we were just a child, there is always something that made us feel comfortable. Even so, that something may be gone as we grow up. The way Hotoru accepted that Jin no longer exists and how she moved forward after this is an attitude we should adopt. I mean, children explore so much but when life gives you the reality, we must accept it and learn from our experiences, right? Many things have changed during the pandemic. Some of us found a new comfortable space during these days and I am one of those people who find it hard to let go of these things. At this moment when the impact of pandemic is slowly fading away and as a person who enjoys being alone and staying indoors, it's hard for me to move forward and see the world again. And I hope you and I learned something from Hotori's story. Changes happen to make things better. 
Anyway, now I am making this content planner spread for organizing my future contents cause I am bad at remembering things. Along with my mini brain dump section cause I think a lot of other things while writing. I know I am not the only one, right? I also want to draw Jean holding his mask at the bottom part of it. I just thought a lot of things are also going on in his mind. I do believe that the silent type of people are the deep thinkers and he's really handsome at this photo. So please excuse my anime fan girling habit. <laughs> Moving on to my mood and habit trackers, I really want a nice and accurate layout for this. I find it hard to think what's the best for it and upon contemplating all the ideas, I decided to go with this layout. For my habit trackers, I tried the simplest layout that I can make. I don't want it to be too complicated so I won't ruin the simplicity of the scene. And for my mood tracker, these spirals will be the ones that I will color every day. The concept is inspired when Jin was about to fade out because he accidentally touched a human kid. And to those who already watched the anime, I hope you already forgave that boy, but me, I'm still working on that face. <laughs> but yeah, it was supposed to be fireflies. Flying. But I don't know how to draw it, so I decided to go with spirals. Maybe let's just think that it's a spirit spiral like it's some anime series. Mm -hmm. And here's Hotoru hugging Jin's mask after he fade away. As you can see, I'm really struggling to draw their hands, and I think that's the problem of most artists. Or is it just me? Am I not an artist? <laughs> Anyway, just adding some sparkles and colors to this spread and that's it for my chakras. Let's move forward to the last spread for today's video. This should be a weekly spread, but instead of that, I made it weekly tasks. This is because this kind of setup is more convenient for me. I don't have fixed schedules and just fulfill my tasks randomly. It's actually really hard for me to focus on one task, my life is too complicated to deal with. At least this spread will be helpful for me to remind everything I have to finish in a week. Someone asked me on how to fit in all 12 months in one bullet journal, but I don't have an idea cause I'm just starting, so do you have any suggestions? Please comment them down below. And before we end this video with the final thrift through, please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Your small gestures means a lot for a small content creator like me.
And that's it for this video. I hope you love this setup as much as I do. See you on my next upload. Bye-bye! Thank you.